Every morning, I wake up at 7 a.m. The first thing I do is brush my teeth to keep them clean and fresh. After that, I take a quick shower to wake myself up and get ready for the day ahead. I like to make sure I am clean and refreshed before starting my day. Once I am done with my shower, I choose my clothes and get dressed. It is important for me to look presentable and feel comfortable in what I am wearing. This helps me feel more confident throughout the day. My morning routine helps me start my day on a positive note and prepare for whatever comes my way. For breakfast, I have a variety of choices. Today, I decided to have a bowl of cereal with some milk. The cereal was crunchy and came in different shapes and sizes. It tasted good when mixed with the cold milk. To go along with my cereal, I also had a glass of orange juice. The orange juice was refreshing and had a sweet citrus flavor. Overall, my breakfast was satisfying and gave me energy for the day ahead. Once I arrive at the office, I greet my colleagues and start organizing my tasks for the day. I check my emails and respond to any urgent messages. Then, I review my to-do list and prioritize my tasks based on their importance and deadlines. I make sure to break down big projects into smaller, manageable tasks. I also update my calendar with any meetings or appointments scheduled for the day. Throughout the day, I work on my tasks, taking short breaks to stretch and chat with my coworkers. I use my computer to complete assignments and prepare presentations. I also attend team meetings where we discuss our progress and share ideas. At lunchtime, I usually bring my own food from home or go out with colleagues to nearby restaurants. After lunch, I continue working on my tasks, focusing on one at a time to ensure quality work. I ask for help or clarification if I have any doubts or encounter challenges. As the day comes to an end, I clean up my workspace and make a note of what still needs to be done for the next day. Finally, I say goodbye to my colleagues and head home, feeling accomplished for completing my tasks and ready to take on the next workday. In the afternoon, I attend meetings with my team to discuss ongoing projects and share updates. My team consists of different colleagues who are responsible for various tasks related to our projects. During the meetings, we sit around a table in a conference room and review the progress we have made so far. We discuss any challenges or issues that have come up and brainstorm possible solutions. Each team member takes turns to present their updates and share any relevant information. We also discuss deadlines and set priorities for the upcoming days. The meetings are usually productive and help us stay on track with our projects. In the afternoon, around 3 p.m., I like to take a break from my work and have a cup of coffee. It helps me recharge and gives me a moment to relax. I usually make myself a hot cup of coffee with some milk and sugar. 
I enjoy the rich aroma and warm feeling it gives me. During this break, I like to sit by the window and watch the world outside. It's a peaceful time of the day when I can have a moment to myself. After finishing my coffee, I feel refreshed and ready to continue with my work. It's a small but enjoyable part of my day. After work, I often have errands to run. One common errand is grocery shopping. I go to the supermarket to buy things like fruits, vegetables, and snacks for the week. Sometimes, I also need to pick up dry cleaning. I drop off my clothes at the dry cleaners in the morning and then pick them up after work. It's convenient because the dry cleaner is on my way home. Running these errands can take some time, but it feels good to be productive and get things done before going home. For dinner tonight, I am making spaghetti with tomato sauce and a side salad. To make the spaghetti, I first boil water in a pot and then add the pasta. While the pasta cooks, I chop up onions and garlic. In another pot, I heat olive oil and then add the onions and garlic. After they are cooked, I add the tomato sauce and let it simmer. Next, I season the sauce with salt, pepper, and some basil. Once the spaghetti is cooked, I drain it and then add it to the sauce. I mix it all together and let it cook for a few more minutes. For the side salad, I wash and chop lettuce, tomatoes, and cucumbers. I mix them together in a bowl and add some olive oil and vinegar as dressing. Finally, I plate the spaghetti and salad and it is ready to be served. After finishing my evening meal, I enjoy taking some time to unwind. One way I like to relax is by watching television. I find it enjoyable to sit back on my comfortable couch and tune into my favorite shows. It's a great way to disconnect from the day's activities and simply be entertained. Additionally, I find that reading a book is a wonderful way to wind down. I love delving into a captivating story or learning something new through the pages of a book. It helps to take my mind off any stress I may be feeling and transports me to a different world. Both watching TV and reading provide me with a sense of relaxation before I head off to sleep for the night. To stay in shape, I have a regular exercise routine. Every evening, I go for a jog around my neighborhood. I find that jogging is not only good for my physical health but also helps me clear my mind. During my jog, I take in the fresh air and enjoy the scenic views of the houses and trees in my neighborhood. I usually start by stretching my muscles to warm up and then I begin my jog at a slow and steady pace. As I continue, I gradually increase my speed and push myself to go faster. Sometimes I challenge myself by running uphill or taking a longer route. I enjoy the feeling of my heart pumping and the sweat on my forehead. It makes me feel accomplished and motivated. After my jog, I always take a few minutes to cool down and stretch my muscles again. 
This helps prevent any injuries and keeps my muscles flexible. Overall, my evening jog is an important part of my daily routine. It not only helps me stay physically fit but also gives me a sense of peace and relaxation. I enjoy watching TV shows in my free time. I have a few favorite ones that I like to watch regularly. Today, I'm really excited because there is a new episode of one of my favorite shows airing tonight. I always make sure to watch it. I like watching TV shows because they entertain me and help me relax after a long day. It's nice to have something to look forward to and escape into a different world for a little while. I usually watch these shows alone, but sometimes I watch with my family or friends. It's fun to discuss the episodes and share our thoughts and opinions. TV shows are a great way to unwind and enjoy some quality entertainment. I'm excited for the upcoming weekend. I have some plans in mind that I'm really looking forward to. One of the things I have planned is meeting up with my friends for lunch. It's always nice to catch up with them and spend some quality time together. We haven't had the chance to see each other in a while, so this will be a great opportunity to do so. Additionally, I might visit a museum. I enjoy learning about different cultures and history, so going to a museum is always interesting for me. I find it fascinating to see all the artifacts and displays. Overall, I'm really excited for the weekend and the activities I have planned. On Saturdays, I usually go grocery shopping to stock up on food and household items for the week. I make a list before going to the store so that I don't forget anything. When I arrive at the store, I grab a shopping cart and start by going to the produce section. I pick out fresh fruits and vegetables, like apples, bananas, carrots, and lettuce. Next, I move on to the dairy aisle and grab some milk, cheese, and yogurt. Then, I head to the meat section and pick out some chicken and ground beef. After that, I go down the aisles to find other items like pasta, rice, canned goods, and snacks. I also make sure to grab cleaning supplies, like dish soap and laundry detergent. Once I have everything on my list, I go to the checkout counter to pay. After paying, I load up my groceries into bags and put them in my car. It feels good to have everything I need for the week and know that I won't have to make multiple trips to the store. I love experimenting with different recipes. Today, I am challenging myself to make homemade pizza from scratch. I start by gathering all the necessary ingredients, flour, yeast, salt, water, and olive oil. Following the recipe, I combine the yeast with warm water and let it sit for a few minutes until it becomes frothy. In a mixing bowl, one mix the flour and salt together, then slowly add the yeast mixture and olive oil. I knead the dough for a few minutes until it becomes smooth and elastic. After that, I let the dough rest and rise for about an hour. 
While waiting, I prepare the tomato sauce and chop up various toppings such as bell peppers, mushrooms, and onions. Once the dough has risen, I knead it again and shape it into a round pizza base. I spread the tomato sauce evenly on top, followed by the cheese and toppings. Finally, I bake the pizza in a preheated oven for about 15 to 20 minutes until it turns golden brown and the cheese melts. The aroma fills the kitchen, and I can't wait to taste the result of my culinary adventure. On Sundays, I have a designated cleaning day. I start by dusting all the furniture in my home, making sure to remove any dirt or debris. After that, I move on to vacuuming the floors to get rid of any loose dirt or crumbs. Once the floors are clean, I gather all the dirty laundry and sort it into different piles. I then start washing each load of laundry making sure to use the appropriate settings for each type of clothing. After the laundry is done, I hang them up to dry or put them in the dryer. Once everything is clean and dry, I put away the laundry and tidy up any remaining clutter in the house. It feels satisfying to see my home clean and organized at the end of the day. I enjoy spending time outdoors. Today, I'm going hiking with a group of friends to explore a nearby trail. We start by meeting at our agreed meeting point and then drive to the trailhead. Once there, we put on our hiking shoes and backpacks. The trail is surrounded by tall trees and beautiful scenery. As we begin hiking, we follow the path marked by signs. The trail is well maintained and easy to navigate. Along the way, we see different types of birds and hear the sound of running water from a nearby creek. We take breaks to rest and enjoy the peacefulness of nature. After a couple of hours, we reach a lookout point with a breathtaking view of the surrounding mountains. We take some pictures to remember the moment. Finally, we make our way back to the trailhead and congratulate each other on completing the hike. It was a wonderful day spent outdoors, exploring nature and enjoying the company of friends. On weekends, I like to explore my city and find new places to visit. Today, my plan is to go to a different neighborhood and explore the local shops. I enjoy discovering unique items and supporting local businesses. It's always interesting to see the different types of shops and the products they offer. I like to take my time and browse around, looking for things that catch my eye. Exploring new neighborhoods is a great way to get to know my city better and discover hidden gems. I'm excited to see what this neighborhood has to offer. In my free time, I enjoy painting. I find it to be a wonderful way for me to express my creativity and unwind. Painting allows me to use different colors and techniques to create my own unique artwork. I often paint landscapes, still life, and portraits. When I start a new painting, I usually begin by sketching the subject onto a canvas. Then, I carefully choose my paint colors and mix them on a palette. 
I enjoy experimenting with different brush strokes and blending techniques to add depth and texture to my paintings. Painting not only brings me joy and satisfaction but also helps me to relieve stress and focus on the present moment. It's a hobby that allows me to express myself and let my imagination soar. I enjoy gardening and have a small garden in my backyard. Today, I am planting new flowers and tending to the existing plants. I start by preparing the soil by loosening it with a garden fork. Then, I carefully remove any weeds that may be growing. After that, I dig small holes in the soil for the new flowers. I gently place the flowers in the holes, making sure their roots are covered with soil. Once all the flowers are planted, I water them thoroughly to help them settle in their new home. Next, I check on the existing plants. I remove any dead leaves or flowers, as well as any pests that may be affecting the plants. I also prune some of the branches to promote healthy growth. Finally, I give the entire garden a good watering, making sure all the plants receive enough moisture. Gardening is a relaxing and rewarding hobby for me and I always look forward to seeing my plants thrive. Every month, I spend my time volunteering at a nearby organization that helps people in need. It feels really good to be able to give back to my community and make a positive impact in someone else's life. The charity I volunteer with offers various services and support to those who are less fortunate. Some days, I assist in serving meals to the homeless and ensuring that everyone has enough to eat. Other times, I help sort and organize donations, ensuring that they are distributed to those who need them the most. Volunteering has not only taught me the importance of empathy and compassion, but it has also allowed me to meet incredible individuals from different walks of life. I am grateful for the opportunity to contribute to the well-being of others and make a difference, no matter how small it may seem. I'm really looking forward to my upcoming weekend getaway. I've been feeling a bit tired and stressed lately, so this trip will be the perfect opportunity to take a break from my daily routine. I've decided to go to the beach because I love the feeling of the warm sun on my skin and the sound of the waves crashing against the shore. It's such a peaceful and relaxing place to be. I can't wait to spend my days lying on the soft sand, soaking up the sun's rays, and taking refreshing dips in the cool ocean water. I'll also bring a good book to read and maybe even try my hand at building sandcastles. It's going to be such a rejuvenating experience and I am really excited about it. Today is a special day because it's my birthday. I'm really excited about it. To celebrate, I'm going to have a small gathering with my friends. We decided to go to a local restaurant, which is a nice and convenient place for everyone. I invited my close friends and we will enjoy a delicious meal together. I'm looking forward to spending quality time with them, laughing, talking, and having fun. It will be a memorable birthday celebration for me. 
On Saturdays, I have a routine of going to a yoga class in the morning. This class helps me relax and feel good both physically and mentally. I enjoy the peaceful environment and the gentle stretching exercises. The instructor guides us through various poses and breathing techniques. It's a great way to start the weekend on a positive note. After the class, I feel refreshed and energized, ready to take on the day ahead. I look forward to my weekend yoga class every week. I'm going shopping to update my wardrobe with some trendy pieces. The season is changing, so I need new clothes. I will be looking for fashionable items that will suit the current trends. Today, I will explore different stores to find what I need. I want to make sure that the clothes I buy are suitable for the weather and will keep me comfortable throughout the season. I am excited to see what options are available and hope to find some great additions to my wardrobe. Taking naps during the day is something I like to do. It helps me feel refreshed and gives me more energy. When I feel tired or sleepy, I find a quiet place where I can lie down and relax. I close my eyes and try to clear my mind. I don't set an alarm, I just let my body naturally wake up when it's ready. Usually, my naps last around 20 minutes to half an hour. After waking up, I feel more alert and ready to continue with my day. Napping is a simple but effective way for me to recharge and stay productive. I have an important presentation at work tomorrow. Today, I am preparing my slides and rehearsing my speech. I want to make sure that I am well prepared and confident when delivering my presentation. First, I am organizing my thoughts and main points on each slide. I want my slides to be clear and easy to understand for my audience. Then, I am choosing relevant images and graphics to enhance my presentation. I believe that visual aids can help convey my message more effectively. Next, I am practicing my speech in front of a mirror. I want to make sure that I speak clearly and confidently. I am also timing myself to ensure that I don't exceed the allocated time for my presentation. Additionally, I am paying attention to my body language and gestures to appear more engaging and approachable. Finally, I am asking a colleague to listen to my practice run and provide feedback. I value their input and want to make any necessary improvements before the actual presentation. By preparing thoroughly and rehearsing diligently, I hope to deliver a successful and impactful presentation tomorrow. I arrived at the hair salon for my appointment. The hairstylist greeted me and asked what type of haircut I wanted. I explained that I wanted to freshen up my look and get a new hairstyle. She showed me some pictures of different hairstyles and asked for my preference. I chose a hairstyle that I liked and she started working on it. She combed my hair and sprayed water on it to make it easier to cut. 
She used scissors and a comb to trim and shape my hair. I watched in the mirror as she cut my hair. After she finished cutting, she asked if I wanted any additional styling, such as blow drying or adding product. I declined and just wanted a simple and natural look. She brushed off any loose hair and handed me a mirror to check the back of my head. I was satisfied with the result and thanked the hairstylist for her work. I paid for the haircut and left the salon feeling refreshed and happy with my new hairstyle. My bike has some issues and needs to be repaired. It is not in a good condition, so I have decided to take it to a nearby bike shop. The shop is located close to my house, making it convenient for me to drop off my bike. I want to get it fixed and ready for my daily rides. I hope the bike shop can resolve all the problems and make my bike as good as new. It is important for me to have a properly functioning bike so that I can enjoy my rides without any issues. I am looking forward to getting my bike back and being able to ride it again. I'm currently in the process of planning a vacation to a tropical destination. This morning, I started by doing some research on flights and hotels in order to find the most affordable options available. I'm looking for the best deals and hoping to find something within my budget. It's important for me to compare prices and read reviews from other travelers to ensure I make the right choices. I want to make sure that both the flight and hotel provide a comfortable and enjoyable experience for my vacation. By conducting thorough research, I hope to find the perfect combination of affordability and quality for my upcoming trip. I joined a book club recently. We meet once a month to discuss our latest read and share our thoughts. It's a great way to connect with other book lovers and expand my reading horizons. Last month, we read a suspenseful mystery novel. We had a lively discussion about the plot twists and character development. It was interesting to hear different perspectives and interpretations of the story. We also shared recommendations for future book choices. I'm looking forward to our next meeting and discovering another captivating book to read together. Today, I decided to visit a museum. I have a great interest in art and history, so I am excited to explore the exhibits and gain new knowledge. As I enter the museum, I notice a variety of artwork displayed on the walls. There are beautiful paintings, intricate sculptures, and even ancient artifacts. I take my time to appreciate each exhibit studying the details and imagining the stories behind them. There are also informative signs next to each display, providing interesting facts and historical context. The museum is quiet and peaceful, allowing me to fully immerse myself in the experience. I find myself particularly drawn to a collection of paintings from different time periods. Each painting tells a unique story and showcases the talent and creativity of the artists. As I walk through the different rooms, I also stumble upon a section dedicated to ancient civilizations. 
Here, I see artifacts from Egypt, Greece, and Rome. It is fascinating to witness the craftsmanship and glimpse into the lives of people who lived centuries ago. After spending a few hours exploring the museum, my mind feels enriched and inspired. I leave with a newfound appreciation for art and history, eager to continue learning and exploring in the future. I arrived at the animal shelter with excitement. As I walked through the entrance, I saw rows of cages filled with adorable animals looking for their forever homes. The shelter was clean and well-maintained, and the staff seemed friendly and helpful. I started by looking at the dogs first. They were wagging their tails and eagerly seeking attention. Some were big, while others were small. I enjoyed petting them and seeing their happy faces. Next, I moved on to the cats. They were in a separate area, curled up in their cozy beds or playfully exploring their surroundings. Each one had its own unique personality and charm. I couldn't help but smile as they purred and rubbed against me. After spending some time with both the dogs and cats, I realized that choosing just one companion would be a tough decision. But I knew that when the right one came along, I would feel a connection. I thanked the shelter staff for their time and left with a heart full of hope and anticipation. I always enjoy attending fitness classes because they help me stay fit and healthy. Today, I am going to join a spinning class. I chose this class because I want to get a good cardio workout and sweat it out. I will be using a stationary bike during the class. I am excited to see how the instructor will guide us through the different exercises. I hope to push myself and challenge my endurance during the class. It's always fun to work out in a group and motivate each other. I know that I will feel energized and accomplished after the class. I am looking forward to this fitness session and the benefits it will bring to my overall well-being. I'm currently attending a professional development workshop to gain new insights and improve my skills. It's important for me to constantly learn and grow in my field. The workshop is providing valuable information and practical tips that I can apply to my work. I'm excited to meet other professionals and exchange ideas and experiences. The atmosphere is supportive and encouraging, allowing us to feel comfortable asking questions and participating in discussions. The workshop facilitators are knowledgeable and experienced, providing us with valuable resources and guiding us through interactive activities. Overall, this workshop is a great opportunity for me to expand my knowledge and network with other professionals in my field. I'm getting ready to host a barbecue party at my backyard. I have set up the grill in the open area and have all the ingredients ready. I will be grilling burgers hot dogs, and vegetables for a delicious outdoor feast. The burgers are made with ground beef, seasoned with salt and pepper. The hot dogs are in their buns and ready to be cooked. 
I have also prepared a variety of vegetables like corn, bell peppers, and zucchini, which I'll be grilling too. The grill is hot and ready to go. I will cook the items on the grill until they are nicely browned and cooked through. The aroma of the sizzling meat and veggies is filling the air. I'm excited to serve my guests these mouth-watering dishes and enjoy the warmth and fun of an outdoor barbecue party. I often enjoy going for bike rides on the weekends. Today, I have the opportunity to explore a new bike trail, and I am really looking forward to it. As I start my ride, I am surrounded by beautiful nature and breathtaking scenery. The trail winds through lush green forests and open fields, offering me a chance to connect with nature and enjoy the peacefulness of the surroundings. The fresh air feels invigorating as I pedal along the trail, passing by wildflowers and tall trees. I can hear birds chirping and the sound of leaves rustling in the wind. Occasionally, I come across other cyclists or people walking their dogs, and we exchange friendly greetings. The trail is well maintained and easy to navigate, making it an enjoyable ride for beginners like me. I take breaks every now and then to take in the scenery and capture some pictures of the beautiful landscapes. It's a great way to relax and unwind, away from the hustle and bustle of city life. As I reach the end of the trail, I feel a sense of accomplishment and satisfaction. The weekend bike ride has been a wonderful experience filled with adventure and serenity. I can't wait to discover more bike trails in the future and continue exploring the great outdoors. I enjoyed trying new cocktails. Tonight, I decide to mix a new drink recipe and act as a bartender for myself and my friends. We gather around the kitchen counter where I have all the ingredients ready. The recipe calls for vodka, cranberry juice, orange juice, and a splash of lime juice. I carefully measure each ingredient and pour them into a cocktail shaker filled with ice. I shake it vigorously and strain the mixture into chilled glasses. The color of the cocktail is a beautiful reddish-orange. I hand out the glasses to my friends, and we take our first sips. The taste is refreshing and tangy, with a hint of sweetness. We chat and enjoy our drinks, discussing the flavors and sharing our thoughts. It's a fun and exciting experience to try new cocktails and experiment with different flavors. We toast to our successful bartending skills and look forward to trying more recipes in the future. I'm feeling creative and want to give my living room a fresh look. Today, I'm working on a DIY home decor project. I start by choosing a color scheme for my new decor. I decide on a combination of blue and white to give my living room a calm and relaxing atmosphere. I gather all the necessary materials, such as paint, brushes, and masking tape. I begin by painting the walls white to create a blank canvas. Next, I use the masking tape to create geometric patterns on one of the walls. 
I carefully paint the taped areas with different shades of blue. Once the paint dries, I remove the tape to reveal crisp and clean lines. With some leftover fabric, I decide to make new throw pillows for my couch. I measure and cut the fabric to the desired size, then sew the edges together and stuff them with filling. I choose a pattern that complements the colors on the wall. Finally, I hang some framed artwork and rearrange the furniture to complete the new look. I step back and admire my DIY home decor project, proud of the fresh and inviting living room I have created. My extended family is coming over for a reunion. We're all excited to see each other and spend time together. We're making preparations for a big gathering with lots of food and fun activities. We want everyone to have a great time and create new memories. We're planning to play games like charades and board games. We're also looking forward to catching up with each other and hearing about what everyone has been up to. It's going to be a busy but enjoyable day, and we can't wait for the family reunion to finally happen. Today, I am excited to start a new project in my backyard. I have always been interested in growing my own food, so I have decided to start a vegetable garden. I believe that having my own garden will allow me to enjoy fresh produce whenever I want. I have chosen a sunny spot in my yard to plant my vegetables. Before I begin, I need to prepare the soil. I use a small shovel to loosen the dirt and remove any rocks or weeds. Once the soil is prepared, I take out my packets of seeds and start to carefully plant them in the ground. I make sure to space them out so they have enough room to grow. I water the seeds gently and then cover them with a thin layer of soil. Now, I just have to wait for them to sprout and grow. I am excited to see what will grow in my garden and look forward to enjoying the fresh produce it will provide. I pack all the necessary camping gear, such as a tent, sleeping bag, and cooking utensils. I also make sure to bring enough food and drinks for the trip. We drive to a beautiful camping spot in the mountains. Once we arrive, we set up our tents and make a fire for cooking and warmth. The air is fresh and the scenery is breathtaking. We spend the day hiking and exploring the surrounding area. We spot some wildlife and take photos of the stunning landscape. As the sun sets, we gather around the campfire and roast marshmallows for s'mores. We share stories and jokes, creating a lively and joyful atmosphere. In the morning, we wake up to the sound of birds chirping and the smell of fresh coffee. We enjoy a peaceful breakfast while surrounded by nature. Before leaving, we make sure to clean up our campsite and leave no trace behind. I feel refreshed and grateful for the weekend spent reconnecting with nature and enjoying the company of friends. I decided to try out a new hobby, so I'm going to a pottery class today. 
I want to see if I enjoy it and if it could be something I become interested in. I'm excited to learn how to work with clay and create different shapes and designs. I hope the class is informative and the instructor is patient and helpful. I'm curious to see if pottery sparks my interest and if it's something I could see myself doing in the future. Yesterday, I went to a big store to buy groceries. I needed to buy some fruits, vegetables, bread, milk, and eggs. I also bought some snacks and toiletries. At the store, I found a wide variety of fruits such as apples, oranges, and bananas. There were also different types of vegetables like carrots, tomatoes, and broccoli. I picked up a loaf of fresh bread and checked the expiration date on the milk carton. I made sure to choose eggs that were not cracked. Besides the essentials, I also grabbed some chocolate bars and chips for snacks. Lastly, I bought some shampoo, soap, and toothpaste in the toiletry section. After paying at the cashier, I carefully packed my groceries into bags and headed home. I was driving on the highway when suddenly there was a lot of traffic. I couldn't move my car because there was a long line of cars in front of me. It felt like we were all stuck and couldn't go anywhere. I looked at the time and realized that it was going to take me longer to reach my destination than I had anticipated. As the minutes passed by, I could see that the traffic was not moving at all. I felt frustrated and bored sitting in my car for so long. Finally, after what felt like forever, the traffic started to slowly move. It took me an extra hour to reach my destination. For dinner tonight, I decided to make spaghetti bolognese and followed a recipe. First, I boiled some pasta in a pot of water until it was soft. Meanwhile, I cooked some ground meat in a pan until it was brown and cooked all the way through. Then, I added tomato sauce to the meat and mixed it all together. Finally, I served the spaghetti bolognese on a plate and enjoyed my delicious homemade meal. On laundry day, I sorted my clothes into different piles. I had a pile for whites, a pile for colors, and a pile for delicates. After sorting, I started to wash them. I put the white clothes in the washing machine first and added detergent. Then, I turned on the machine and let it run for a while. Once the cycle was complete, I took out the white clothes and put them in the dryer. Next, I washed the colored clothes using a different detergent. I repeated the same process, moving the colored clothes to the dryer when they were done. Lastly, I washed the delicate clothes. I was careful not to use too much detergent or wash them on a high setting, as they could get damaged easily. After all the clothes were washed and dried, I folded them neatly and put them away in my drawers. Laundry day can be a bit tiring, but it feels great to have clean and fresh smelling clothes. It was a rainy day, 
so I decided to stay indoors. I found a comfortable spot in my living room and grabbed a book to read. As I settled down, I looked outside and saw raindrops falling steadily from the sky. The sound of rain hitting against my window created a peaceful ambiance. I made myself a cup of tea and took a sip, enjoying its warmth and flavor. As I delved into the pages of my book, I felt a sense of calm and relaxation. The cozy atmosphere inside my home made this rainy day a perfect opportunity to unwind and enjoy some quiet time. This weekend, I have planned to go hiking with my friends. We will meet early in the morning at the trailhead. I am excited to spend time outdoors and enjoy nature. We will bring some snacks and water with us. I have packed my backpack with sunscreen, a hat, and comfortable shoes. I hope the weather will be nice, so we can have a great time. Hiking is a great way to exercise and explore new places. I am looking forward to the beautiful views and fresh air. I will make sure to take some pictures to remember this adventure. I decided to start gardening and planted some beautiful flowers in my backyard. I carefully dug small holes in the soil and gently placed each flower in its own spot. After planting them, I watered the flowers thoroughly to make sure they were hydrated. I knew that they needed sunlight to grow, so I moved them to a sunny spot in my backyard. I hope that with enough water and sunlight, my flowers will grow into colorful and vibrant blooms. I decided to change my hairstyle, so I went to the salon. I wanted a fresh look, so I asked the stylist for a haircut. I told them that I wanted bangs and some layers added to my hair. The stylist listened to my request and began cutting my hair. They carefully trimmed my hair making sure to create the bangs and layers that I wanted. After they finished cutting, they styled my hair and showed me the final result. I was excited to see the change and was pleased with how it turned out. I paid for the service and left the salon feeling confident with my new hairstyle. In the morning, I opened my eyes and got out of bed. I went to the bathroom and used a toothbrush to brush my teeth. After that, I went into the shower and took a quick shower to clean myself. Once I finished, I walked to the kitchen and made myself some breakfast. I ate the food and felt satisfied. Finally, I left my house and went to work. There was a big sale at the mall. I went shopping and found some great deals. I bought a new dress, a pair of jeans, and some accessories. The prices were discounted, so I saved some money. The dress was pretty and fit me well. The jeans were comfortable and I liked the color. I also bought some earrings and a bracelet that matched the dress. Overall, it was a successful shopping trip and I was happy with my purchases.
Today, I went to the gym to do a workout. I focused on cardio exercises to get my heart rate up and burn calories. First, I spent some time running on the treadmill. I set the speed to a moderate level and jogged for about 20 minutes. It felt good to get my muscles moving and my body warmed up. After running, I moved on to cycling on the stationary bike. I adjusted the resistance to challenge myself and pedaled for 30 minutes. It was a great way to work my leg muscles and get my heart pumping. Overall, it was a successful gym session and I felt energized afterwards. My phone fell and the screen cracked. It was difficult to use because I couldn't see properly. I decided to take it to a repair shop to get it fixed. The repair shop was close to my house, so it was convenient for me. When I arrived at the shop, I explained the problem to the employee. They took my phone and examined it carefully. They told me that they could fix the cracked screen, but it would take a few days because they needed to order a replacement part. I agreed to leave my phone with them and they gave me a receipt. They also told me the cost of the repair and asked for my contact information. I provided them with my phone number so they could reach me when the repair was complete. I felt relieved knowing that my phone would be fixed soon. I was shopping when I realized that my wallet was missing. I remembered having it with me earlier, so I decided to retrace my steps. I checked the aisles and shelves where I had been, but I still couldn't find it. Feeling worried, I decided to ask the cashier if anyone had turned in a lost wallet. To my relief, the cashier said that someone had indeed found a wallet and had left it at the counter. I couldn't believe my luck. I thanked the cashier and checked inside the wallet to make sure everything was still there. I was so relieved to find that nothing was missing. It was a valuable lesson for me to be more careful with my belongings in the future. I recently had lunch with my co-workers at a restaurant close to our office. We all gathered together and had a great time chatting and catching up with each other. The restaurant had a special lunch menu that changes every day, so we had a variety of options to choose from. The food was delicious and we all enjoyed trying different dishes. It was a nice break from work and helped us relax and rejuvenate for the rest of the day. We had a lot of laughs and shared stories about our weekends. Overall, it was a pleasant and enjoyable lunch with my colleagues. Yesterday, my family had a reunion at my aunt's house. We all gathered together to spend time with each other. We decided to have a potluck dinner so everyone brought a dish to share. There was a wide variety of food, including salads, pastas, and desserts. We sat around a big table and enjoyed our meal together. While eating, we talked and caught up with each other's lives. It was nice to hear about what everyone has been doing and to share our own stories. 
After dinner, we played games and took some family photos. It was wonderful to see everyone having a great time. We ended the evening feeling grateful for our strong bond as a family. I needed to deposit some money, so I decided to go to the bank. When I arrived, I went inside and found a line of people waiting. I stood in line and waited for my turn. Finally, it was my turn to approach the teller. I greeted the teller and explained that I wanted to deposit some money. The teller handed me a deposit slip and I filled it out with my account number, the date, and the amount of money I wanted to deposit. After completing the deposit slip, I handed it back to the teller along with the money. The teller counted the money and verified the amount. Once everything was confirmed, the teller printed a receipt for me and handed it to me. I thanked the teller and left the bank feeling satisfied with my deposit. Yesterday, I decided to try out a new recipe for chocolate chip cookies. I followed the recipe instructions step by step. First, I mixed together the butter, sugar, and vanilla extract in a bowl until it became creamy. Then, I added eggs one at a time and continued mixing. In a separate bowl, one combined the flour, baking soda, and salt. Next, I slowly added the dry ingredients to the wet mixture, mixing it all together. Finally, I folded in the chocolate chips until they were evenly distributed throughout the dough. I spooned the dough onto a baking sheet and put it in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. The aroma of freshly baked cookies filled the air as they baked. When the timer went off, I took the cookies out and let them cool for a few minutes before transferring them to a plate. They came out golden brown and soft on the inside. My family couldn't resist the smell and taste of the homemade chocolate chip cookies. They all loved them and asked for more. It was a successful recipe experiment that brought joy to my loved ones. One day, I noticed that my car was very dirty, so I decided to take it to the car wash to get it cleaned. When I arrived at the car wash, I drove my car into the washing area. The car wash staff greeted me and asked what type of wash I wanted. I chose the full service wash, which included both the exterior and interior cleaning. The staff started by spraying water on the car to remove the dirt and dust. Then, they applied soap and scrubbed the exterior using a soft brush. After rinsing off the soap, they used a cloth to dry the car. Meanwhile, another staff member cleaned the interior of the car. They vacuumed the seats and floor, wiped down the dashboard, and cleaned the windows. Once they finished, they asked if everything looked good. I inspected my car and was satisfied with the results. The car wash staff thanked me for choosing their service and I drove away with a clean and shiny car. It was my friend's birthday, so we decided to surprise her. We bought a cake and some presents for her.
When she arrived at the party, we all gathered around and sang happy birthday to her. She was really surprised and happy. She blew out the candles on the cake and we all clapped and cheered for her. Then, we gave her the presents we had bought. She opened them one by one and was really excited about each gift. We all had a great time celebrating her birthday and making her feel special. Recently, I had a dentist appointment for a routine checkup and cleaning. During the appointment, the dentist carefully examined my teeth and gums to ensure that everything was healthy. They asked me about my dental habits and gave me some helpful tips for improving my oral hygiene. After the examination, a dental hygienist cleaned my teeth using special tools and toothpaste. They removed plaque and tartar buildup to prevent cavities and gum disease. The cleaning process felt a little uncomfortable at times, but it was necessary for maintaining good dental health. Overall, the dentist appointment was a positive experience and I left with a fresher and cleaner smile. I prepared for a job interview by researching the company and practicing answers to common interview questions. I looked up information about the company on the internet and read about their history and values. I also found out about the position I was applying for and what kind of skills and experience they were looking for. I made a list of common interview questions and practiced answering them out loud. I tried to think of examples from my previous jobs that demonstrated my skills and abilities. I also practiced talking about my strengths and how I would handle certain situations. I wanted to make sure that I was well prepared and confident for the interview. Yesterday, I decided to take my furry friend for a stroll in the nearby park. I made sure to bring all the necessary items to be a responsible pet owner. I grabbed a leash to keep my dog safe and under control during our walk. Additionally, I packed some poop bags to clean up after my pet's business. As we wandered through the park, I enjoyed the fresh air and beautiful scenery while my dog happily sniffed around. It was a delightful experience for both of us, and I felt proud knowing that I was taking good care of my beloved companion. I recently completed a DIY project where I wanted to give my bookshelf a new look. First, I sanded the bookshelf to prepare it for painting. Then, I applied a coat of primer to ensure that the paint would adhere properly. Finally, I used my favorite color to paint the bookshelf. It was a fun and satisfying project, and now my bookshelf looks brand new and vibrant. I found a recipe for making bread at home. It had a list of ingredients and step-by-step -step instructions. First, I gathered all the ingredients, like flour, water, yeast, and salt. Then, I mixed them together in a big bowl to form a dough. I kneaded the dough for a few minutes until it became smooth and elastic. After that, I let it rise in a warm place for an hour. 
While waiting, I preheated the oven to the recommended temperature. Once the dough had risen, I shaped it into a loaf and placed it on a baking sheet. Then, I put the sheet in the oven and set the timer for the suggested baking time. As the bread baked, the wonderful smell filled the whole house. I couldn't wait to taste it once it was done. I recently decided to plan a vacation and began researching flights and accommodations. I wanted to find the best options for my trip, so I compared prices from different airlines and travel websites. I also read reviews from other travelers to get an idea of what to expect. After carefully considering my options, I made the necessary bookings for my flight and hotel. Overall, I put in a lot of effort to ensure that my trip would be enjoyable and within my budget. Recently, I decided to donate some items to a local charity. I had a lot of clothes, toys, and books that I no longer needed, so I thought it would be a good idea to give them to people who could use them. I sorted through my things and gathered all the items that were still in good condition. I packed them up in boxes and labeled them for the charity. It felt really good to declutter my space and know that these items would be going to someone who would appreciate them. I dropped off the boxes at the charity's location and the staff there were very grateful for the donation. It was a simple act, but it made me happy to know that I was able to help those in need. My car broke down on the way to work. It suddenly stopped running and wouldn't start again. I was stranded on the side of the road and didn't know what to do. I took out my phone and called a tow truck for help. They arrived within 30 minutes and loaded my car onto the truck. The tow truck driver was very friendly and assured me that they would take my car to a nearby mechanic. I climbed into the truck and we drove to the mechanic's shop. The mechanic inspected my car and determined that the problem was with the engine. He said it would take a few days to fix, so I would need to find alternative transportation in the meantime. I thanked the mechanic for his help and made arrangements to borrow a friend's car until mine was repaired. I went to a museum and saw a lot of interesting things. There were many paintings on the walls, and they were very colorful. Some of the paintings were of people and some were of landscapes. I also saw sculptures of people made out of stone. They looked very realistic. There were also ancient artifacts on display, like pottery and jewelry. It was amazing to see how people used to live a long time ago. I learned a lot about history and art during my visit. It was a great experience. I went hiking with a group of experienced hikers. We started our adventure by climbing a mountain trail. The trail was steep and challenging, but we were all determined to reach the top. As we hiked, we saw beautiful trees and heard birds singing. Along the way, we had to navigate rocky terrain and cross small streams. Finally, 
After a few hours of hiking, we reached the summit. The view from the top was absolutely breathtaking. We could see rolling hills, green valleys, and even distant mountains. We took pictures and enjoyed the tranquility of the surroundings. After taking a short break, we began our descent back down the mountain. It was a thrilling and rewarding experience to hike with such a skilled group of hikers and witness the stunning views from the top. I recently decided to adopt a rescue cat from a nearby shelter. It was a big decision, but I wanted to provide a safe and loving home for a cat in need. When I brought the cat home, I made sure to create a comfortable environment for it. I set up a cozy bed, provided fresh water and food, and placed a litter box in a quiet corner. I also made sure to give the cat plenty of space and time to adjust to its new surroundings. I spent time playing with the cat and giving it gentle affection to help it feel loved and secure. It has been a rewarding experience to see the cat gradually become more comfortable and trusting in its new home. I am grateful to have the opportunity to give a rescue cat a second chance at a happy life. I recently began a painting project. First, I sketched my idea onto a canvas using a pencil. After that, I used acrylic paint to bring my sketch to life. With the paint, I carefully applied different colors to the canvas, filling in the spaces and creating texture. It was important to be patient and let each layer of paint dry before adding more. Once I was satisfied with the final result, I let the painting dry completely. I am proud of my artwork and the process of creating it was both enjoyable and rewarding. Last week, I decided to have a fun night with my friends by hosting a board game night. We gathered at my place and had a great time playing different board games such as Scrabble and Monopoly. Everyone seemed excited and eager to show off their vocabulary skills in Scrabble. In Monopoly, we got to buy properties, build houses, and try to bankrupt each other. It was a night full of laughter, strategizing, and friendly competition. We enjoyed spending quality time together and creating memories through these classic board games. I recently organized a yard sale to get rid of some items that I no longer needed. I decided to set up tables outside in my yard and made some colorful signs to attract customers. I put a variety of items on display, such as clothes, books, electronics, and kitchenware. I arranged everything neatly on the tables and made sure to price each item clearly. As customers started to arrive, I greeted them politely and answered any questions they had about the items. Some customers haggled with me over the prices and we were able to come to agreements that we were both satisfied with. Throughout the day, I noticed that certain items were more popular than others. For example, my old bicycle sold almost immediately, while some of the books took longer to find buyers. By the end of the day, I had successfully sold most of the items and made some extra money. 
It was a satisfying experience to declutter my home and see others find value in the items I no longer needed. Yesterday, I had a problem with a leaky faucet in my kitchen. I noticed water dripping from the faucet and it was starting to create a mess. So, I decided to fix it myself. First, I turned off the water supply to the kitchen sink. Then, I carefully unscrewed the handle of the faucet and removed it. Inside, I saw a worn-out washer causing the leak. I replaced the old washer with a new one and made sure it was tightly secured. Finally, I put the handle back on and turned on the water supply. To my relief, the leak had completely stopped and the faucet was working perfectly again. I woke up early in the morning and decided to take the train to work. I went to the train station and bought a ticket from the ticket counter. After that, I entered the platform area and waited for the train to arrive. When the train arrived, I found an empty seat and sat down comfortably. As the journey started, I took out a book from my bag and started reading it. The train was moving smoothly, and I could feel the gentle swaying as we traveled along the tracks. It was a peaceful and quiet journey, with occasional announcements about the upcoming stations. I enjoyed the time to myself, engrossed in my book, and before I knew it, we arrived at my destination. I packed up my book, stood up, and got ready to leave the train. It was a convenient and relaxing way to commute to work. I decided to volunteer at a local soup kitchen for a good cause. During my time there, I had the opportunity to serve meals to those who were homeless and in need. It was a rewarding experience to see the smiles on their faces as they enjoyed a warm meal. Aside from serving food, I also helped with cleaning up the kitchen to ensure everything was tidy and organized. It felt great to contribute my time and effort towards making a difference in the lives of others. I packed my suitcase for a weekend trip. I carefully selected the clothes that I wanted to bring with me, making sure to include enough outfits for the duration of my trip. I also packed toiletries such as toothpaste, shampoo, and soap, as I knew that I would need them during my stay. In addition, I made sure to bring all the essential items, such as chargers for my electronic devices and my passport, which is necessary for traveling. I organized everything neatly in my suitcase making sure that everything fit properly and would not get damaged during the journey. I double-checked to ensure that I had everything I needed before closing the suitcase and heading out for my trip. Cleaning day was a busy day for me. I decided to clean my entire house from top to bottom. First, I started by dusting all the furniture in every room. I used a cloth and carefully wiped away the dust from the tables, chairs, and shelves. After that, I moved on to vacuuming the floors. I made sure to vacuum each room, including the living room, bedrooms, and hallway. 
It felt rewarding to see the dirt and debris being sucked up by the vacuum cleaner. Lastly, I tackled the bathroom. I spent some time scrubbing the bathtub, sink, and toilet until they were sparkling clean. It was hard work, but I felt satisfied with the results. Today, I took care of my plants in the garden. I noticed that they were looking a bit dry, so I decided to water them. I grabbed a watering can and filled it with water. Then, I went to each plant and poured water on them gently. I made sure to give each plant enough water so they would stay healthy. It was a simple task, but it felt good to take care of my plants and help them grow. I decided to get creative and make a decoration for my home using materials that I already had. I found some old cardboard, paper, and fabric that I could use. I started by cutting the cardboard into different shapes and sizes. Then, I painted each piece with bright colors. After the paint dried, I arranged the pieces together to form a unique design. I glued everything onto a piece of fabric and added some beads for extra decoration. Finally, I hung it on the wall and admired my new homemade wall hanging. It feels great to have a personalized piece of decor in my home that I made myself. I decided to try grocery delivery for the first time. I went online and selected all the items I needed from a list provided. There were so many options to choose from, it was convenient. I added everything to my virtual cart and proceeded to check out. I entered my address and payment information, and within a few minutes, my order was placed. I received a confirmation email with the delivery date and time. On the scheduled day, I waited at home for my groceries to arrive. The delivery person knocked on my door and handed me the bags of groceries. I was pleased to see that everything I ordered was included. It was a relief to not have to carry heavy bags from the store to my doorstep. This online grocery delivery service saved me time and effort. I will definitely be using it again in the future. I recently attended a first aid training course where I learned important skills. One of the things I learned was how to perform CPR, which stands for cardiopulmonary resuscitation. CPR is a technique used to save someone's life if they are not breathing or their heart has stopped. I learned the correct way to position my hands and use the right amount of pressure to give chest compressions. Another skill I learned was how to handle minor injuries. I learned how to clean and dress wounds, apply bandages, and use basic first aid supplies like antiseptic ointment and adhesive tape. It was a valuable course that equipped me with the knowledge to help others in emergency situations. Last summer, I decided to have a barbecue party at my house. It was a sunny day and I invited some friends over. We gathered in my backyard and set up the grill. We grilled burgers, hot dogs, and vegetables. 
The delicious smell filled the air as we cooked the food. We chatted and laughed while waiting for the food to be ready. Once everything was cooked, we enjoyed our meal outside, basking in the warm sunshine. The burgers were juicy and the hot dogs had a nice char. The grilled vegetables were flavorful and added a healthy touch to our meal. We had a great time eating and talking, enjoying the company and the delicious food. It was a perfect way to spend a summer day. I had a great day at the beach. I went into the ocean and swam for a while. The water was cool and refreshing. After swimming, I decided to build some sandcastles. I took some wet sand and molded it into different shapes. It was fun to see the sandcastle take form. Then, I found a spot on the sand and laid down to relax. The sun was warm and I enjoyed basking in its rays. I felt so peaceful and calm. It was a perfect day at the beach. I went on a date to a small and comfortable restaurant. The atmosphere was intimate with dim lighting and candles on the table. We sat across from each other and enjoyed a delicious meal. The food was tasty and the portions were just right. As we ate, we engaged in a delightful conversation. We talked about our interests, hobbies, and shared funny stories from our past. The conversation flowed easily and we laughed a lot. The restaurant was not too crowded, which allowed us to focus on each other. The service was attentive and the staff was friendly. Overall, it was a lovely date night filled with good food and great conversation. I recently joined a fitness class at the gym. During the class, we focused on improving our strength and endurance through various exercises. Some of the exercises we did included squats, lunges, and push-ups. It was challenging but also a great way to stay active and improve my overall fitness level. I enjoyed the class and felt proud of myself for pushing through the workout. On a recent camping trip with friends, we decided to spend the night outdoors. We arrived at the campsite and started setting up our tents. It was a bit challenging at first, but we managed to set them up properly. After that, we gathered some wood and built a campfire. It took a while, but eventually, we got a nice fire going. We sat around the fire, roasting marshmallows and sharing stories. As the night went on, the stars started to appear in the sky. It was a breathtaking sight. We spent the night sleeping in our tents, listening to the sounds of nature. It was a memorable experience being able to connect with nature and spend quality time with friends. Recently, I came across a recipe on the internet that caught my attention. It seemed simple and delicious, so I decided to give it a try for dinner. Following the instructions, I gathered all the necessary ingredients from my kitchen. 
I began by preheating the oven and chopping the vegetables as directed. Then, I mixed the spices and marinade together in a bowl. After marinating the meat for a while, I placed it in the oven to cook. While waiting, I prepared a side dish to accompany the main course. The aroma coming from the oven was mouth-watering, and I couldn't wait to taste the final result. As the timer went off, I carefully took out the cooked dish from the oven. It looked and smelled amazing. I plated the meal, and as I took my first bite, I was pleasantly surprised. The flavors were well balanced and the meat was tender. Overall, it was a successful attempt at trying a new recipe, and I definitely plan to make it again in the future. I decided to go to the library to borrow some books. Libraries are great places to find a wide variety of books. When I arrived, I noticed the calm and quiet atmosphere. The librarian greeted me and I asked for help in finding a specific book. They guided me to the right section and I was able to locate the book easily. I also saw many other books that caught my attention along the way. The library had a comfortable seating area where I could sit and read. I spent some time browsing through the different genres and selecting a few books to borrow. The librarian checked out the books for me and gave me a due date for their return. I left the library feeling excited to start reading my new books. I decided to spend my afternoon planting some flowers in my garden. It was a soothing and calming activity for me. I carefully dug small holes in the soil and gently placed the flowers inside. I made sure to space them out evenly so they would have enough room to grow. After planting all the flowers, I gave them a good watering to help them settle in. I'm looking forward to seeing them bloom and add some vibrant colors to my garden. I wanted to try something new, so I decided to take a yoga class. It was my first time trying yoga, and I was excited to see what it was like. When I arrived at the yoga studio, I was greeted by the instructor who showed me where to put my mat. The class started with some gentle warm-up exercises to prepare our bodies for the yoga poses. We focused on our breathing and tried to relax our minds. The instructor guided us through different poses, such as downward dog, warrior, and tree pose. It was challenging at times, but I enjoyed the feeling of stretching my muscles and finding balance in each pose. Throughout the class, the instructor emphasized the importance of listening to our bodies and not pushing ourselves too hard. After the class, I felt refreshed and more relaxed. It was a great way to unwind and take care of my body. I'm looking forward to attending more yoga classes in the future. Today, I went to a museum and it was really interesting. The museum had different exhibits that showed art, history, and science. There were lots of things to see and learn about. In one exhibit, there were paintings and sculptures made by famous artists. 
I saw beautiful landscapes and portraits. In another exhibit, there were artifacts from different time periods. I saw ancient tools, clothing, and even a mummy. It was really cool to see how people lived a long time ago. The museum also had a science section where I learned about the planets and dinosaurs. There were models of the planets and fossils of dinosaurs. I even got to touch a real dinosaur bone. It was amazing to see how big they were. I had a great time exploring the museum and I can't wait to visit again. I recently started taking piano lessons. Learning to play an instrument is both challenging and rewarding. When I first started, I struggled to remember where the notes were and how to position my fingers on the keys. But with consistent practice, I've started to improve. My teacher has been patient with me explaining and demonstrating the techniques I need to learn. Each week, I learn a new song or practice a new skill. It can be frustrating at times, especially when I make mistakes or struggle with a difficult passage. However, the feeling of accomplishment when I finally master a piece is incredible. It's also exciting to see the progress I've made over time. Despite the challenges, I'm motivated to continue practicing and improving my piano skills. I went shopping for new clothes. I entered a store and looked around. There were many different clothes to choose from. I found some stylish outfits that caught my eye. I tried on a few of them and they fit perfectly. I liked how they looked on me in the mirror. I decided to buy the clothes and went to the cashier to pay. The cashier was friendly and took my money. I left the store with my new clothes and felt happy with my purchase. I decided to try a new restaurant for dinner last night. As soon as I walked in, I was greeted by a friendly hostess who showed me to my table. The restaurant had a cozy atmosphere and was nicely decorated. The menu had a variety of options to choose from, including both vegetarian and meat dishes. I ended up ordering a pasta dish with a creamy sauce and it was absolutely delicious. The portion size was just right and the flavors were perfectly balanced. The server was attentive and checked on me regularly, making sure I had everything I needed. The service was efficient and I didn't have to wait long for my food to arrive. Overall, my experience at the new restaurant was great. The food was delicious and the service was excellent. I'm definitely planning on going back again soon. I spent the evening playing board games with my family. We gathered around the table and each chose a game to play. We started by setting up the game boards and reading the instructions. I chose a strategy game, while my siblings opted for a word game and a puzzle game. As we began playing, everyone was focused and determined to win. There was a lot of laughter and excitement as we rolled the dice, drew cards, and moved our game pieces. 
We took turns, carefully considering our moves and trying to outsmart each other. Sometimes we disagreed on the rules and asked for clarification. It was interesting to see each person's different strategies and approaches to the game. As the games progressed, the competition grew intense. We cheered and groaned with every move, and there were moments of suspense and anticipation. In the end, we all had a great time, regardless of who won or lost. It was a wonderful bonding experience and a reminder of how much fun we can have without electronic devices. I decided to go on a hike in the mountains. As I made my way up, the scenery became more and more beautiful. The mountains were tall and majestic, with fresh green trees covering the slopes. I could hear birds chirping and the sound of a nearby stream. The air was crisp and clean, and the smell of pine filled my nostrils. It felt so refreshing to be surrounded by nature. The hike itself was a great workout. I could feel my muscles working as I climbed uphill, and the elevation made it a bit challenging. However, the feeling of accomplishment was worth it. The view from the top was absolutely breathtaking. I could see for miles, with mountains stretching as far as the eye could see. I sat down for a while to take in the beautiful scenery and enjoy the peacefulness of nature. It was a wonderful way to spend the day and I felt rejuvenated by the experience. I went to a farmer's market recently. I wanted to support local farmers, so I decided to buy some fresh fruits and vegetables. The market had a lot of different kinds of produce. There were a variety of fruits like apples, oranges, and strawberries. I also saw many different types of vegetables such as carrots, tomatoes, and cucumbers. The market was very busy, with many people walking around and buying things. I enjoyed looking at all the different options and picking out what I wanted to buy. The vendors were friendly and helpful in answering any questions I had. It felt good knowing that by buying from them, I was supporting local businesses. Overall, it was a great experience and I was happy to support the local growers at the farmer's market. I recently began learning a new language through an online course. It has been quite challenging, but I am really enjoying the process. I practice speaking and listening skills by listening to audio recordings and repeating them out loud. I also read short texts and answer comprehension questions to improve my reading comprehension. Additionally, I practice writing by completing various exercises, such as forming sentences and describing everyday objects. I find that the online platform is convenient, as I can access the lessons at any time that suits me. The course provides a lot of resources, including vocabulary lists and grammar explanations which help me understand the language better. Overall, I am excited about the progress I am making and look forward to becoming fluent in this new language. I spent the day volunteering at a shelter. 
The shelter was for animals in need. There were many different types of animals at the shelter. There were cats, dogs, rabbits, and even some birds. My job was to help take care of the animals. I cleaned their cages and gave them food and water. Some of the animals were very friendly and liked to be petted. Others were shy and scared. I tried to make them feel safe and loved. It was a lot of work, but it was also very rewarding. I felt good knowing that I was making a difference in the animals' lives. I hope to volunteer at the shelter again in the future. I recently decided to change my hairstyle and try something new. I went to a salon and got a new cut and color. The hairstylist asked me what I wanted and showed me different options. After discussing my preferences, she started cutting my hair. She used scissors and a comb to shape my hair. Once she finished cutting, she washed my hair and applied dye to give me a new color. I sat in the chair for a while as the dye processed. After rinsing and drying my hair, the hairstylist styled it using a blow dryer and a brush. She also used some products to give my hair a sleek and shiny look. When I saw the final result in the mirror, I was thrilled. I love my new hairstyle and how fresh it looks. I decided to go to the beach for the day. It was a sunny and warm day, perfect for a beach outing. I packed my beach towel, sunscreen, and a good book to read. When I arrived at the beach, I found a spot near the water and set up my things. The sand was soft and warm beneath my feet. I could hear the waves crashing against the shore, creating a soothing sound. I spent the day lying on my towel, soaking up the sun's rays. Occasionally, I took breaks to cool off in the refreshing water. It was a peaceful and relaxing day at the beach, and I enjoyed every moment of it. Yesterday afternoon, I decided to spend my time painting a picture. It was a way for me to express my creativity and enjoy myself. I chose this activity because I find joy in art and wanted to use it as a form of self-expression. With a paintbrush in hand, I carefully selected my colors and began to create. As I applied the paint to the canvas, I felt a sense of satisfaction and fulfillment. The strokes and lines came together to form a beautiful image that reflected my emotions and thoughts. The process was relaxing and allowed me to escape from the stresses of daily life. Painting this picture was not only a fun activity but also a way for me to explore my artistic side. I decided to go for a swim at the pool near my house. The weather was really hot, so it seemed like the perfect way to cool off. When I got to the pool, I changed into my swimsuit and put on sunscreen to protect my skin from the sun. The pool was clean and the water looked inviting. I slowly eased myself in and immediately felt refreshed. I started swimming back and forth, 
enjoying the feeling of the cool water against my skin. There were other people at the pool too. Some swimming laps like me and others just relaxing on the poolside chairs. After a while, I took a break from swimming and laid out on a lounge chair to soak up some sun. It felt so peaceful and relaxing. I stayed at the pool for a few hours before deciding it was time to go home. Overall, it was a great experience and I'm glad I went for a swim. I visited a new city and spent the day exploring its attractions and trying local cuisine. First, I went to a beautiful park with colorful flowers and tall trees. I enjoyed walking around and taking pictures of the stunning scenery. Next, I visited a famous historical site, where I learned about the city's rich history. I was amazed by the architecture and the stories behind the ancient buildings. After that, I decided to try some local cuisine. I found a cozy restaurant and ordered a traditional dish. The flavors were unique and delicious. In the afternoon, I walked around the bustling market, where I saw various stalls selling fresh fruits, vegetables, and handmade crafts. It was a vibrant and lively atmosphere. Lastly, I ended my day by visiting a local museum. I admired the impressive art collections and learned more about the city's art scene. It was a full day of exploration and discovery in the new city. I had an enjoyable day at a theme park recently. I experienced many thrilling rides that got my heart racing. The roller coasters were especially exciting. I also watched entertaining shows that made me laugh and smile. The park had a variety of food options, so I was able to choose something delicious to eat. The staff were friendly and helpful, making my experience even better. Overall, it was a fun and memorable day at the theme park. I recently started my own blog as a way to express myself and connect with others who share similar interests. It's been a great creative outlet for me to share my thoughts and experiences. Through my blog, I've been able to connect with like-minded people from all over the world. It's exciting to see how my blog has grown and how many people are interested in what I have to say. Writing and maintaining a blog takes time and effort, but it's definitely worth it to have a platform where I can freely express myself and connect with others. I recently decided to make homemade pizza from scratch. The process was quite enjoyable as I got to choose all of my favorite toppings. I started by preparing the dough, mixing flour, yeast, salt, and water together. After kneading the dough and allowing it to rise, I rolled it out into a circle shape. Next, I spread tomato sauce over the dough and sprinkled it with a generous amount of cheese. I then added my favorite toppings, including slices of pepperoni, diced bell peppers, and sliced onions. Finally, I baked the pizza in the oven until the crust turned golden brown and the cheese melted perfectly. 
The end result was absolutely delicious and satisfying. It was a great feeling to enjoy a pizza that I had made myself, with all of my favorite flavors and ingredients. I spent the afternoon at a nearby bookstore. The store had a wide range of books to choose from. I enjoyed the smell of new books as I walked through the aisles. I liked exploring different sections and finding interesting books. It was exciting to uncover hidden gems that I had never heard of before. I took my time browsing and reading the book summaries on the back covers. It was a peaceful afternoon spent surrounded by books. I decided to try a new fitness class at the gym. I walked into the gym and went to the front desk. I asked the person working there if I could join the fitness class. They told me yes and gave me a schedule. I looked at the schedule and saw that the class would start in 10 minutes. I went to the room where the class would take place and saw a lot of other people already there. The instructor stood at the front of the room and started the class. We did a warm-up first, which included stretching and jogging in place. Then, we moved on to different exercises such as lunges, squats, and push-ups. The class was challenging, but I pushed through and tried my best. The instructor was encouraging and gave us tips on how to do each exercise correctly. We also did some cardio exercises like jumping jacks and high knees. By the end of the class, I was sweaty and tired, but I felt really accomplished. It was a great workout and I was glad I tried something new. I went to an art gallery recently. As I walked through the gallery, I saw many beautiful artworks. There were paintings, sculptures, and even some photographs. The colors and designs were amazing, and I felt inspired by the creativity of the artists. Some of the paintings were very detailed, with intricate brush strokes and precise lines. Others were more abstract, with bold, vibrant colors. I spent a lot of time looking at each piece and trying to understand the meaning behind them. It was a fascinating experience, and I left the gallery feeling inspired and amazed by the talent of artists. Yesterday I decided to have a barbecue party in my backyard. I set up the grill and prepared all the necessary ingredients for grilling. My friends arrived, and we started cooking delicious food. We grilled burgers, hot dogs, and chicken. The smell of the sizzling food was amazing. While the food was cooking, we chatted and laughed, enjoying each other's company. It was a warm and sunny day, perfect for a barbecue. Finally, the food was ready, and we gathered around the table to eat. The burgers were juicy and flavorful, and the hot dogs were perfectly grilled. We also had some tasty sides like corn on the cob and potato salad. We all agreed that the food was delicious. After eating, we continued to hang out in the backyard, playing games and enjoying the rest of the day. 
It was a wonderful and relaxing afternoon spent with good food and great friends. I went on a hike in a nature reserve. The weather was nice, not too hot or cold. The trees were tall and provided shade. As I walked, I could hear birds chirping and insects buzzing. I saw different types of plants. Some had colorful flowers, while others had thorns. There were also animals. I saw a squirrel climbing a tree and a rabbit hopping in the grass. I even spotted a deer in the distance. It was a peaceful and relaxing experience. I enjoyed being surrounded by nature and exploring the beauty of the reserve. I have recently taken up photography as a hobby. It all started when I decided to learn how to capture beautiful moments and landscapes. I found it fascinating to be able to freeze a moment in time and have it preserved forever. As I started practicing and experimenting with different techniques, I realized that photography has become a true passion of mine. I enjoy exploring different angles, lighting, and compositions to capture the essence of a scene. It brings me joy to be able to share these moments with others and showcase the beauty of the world through my lens. I saw my neighbor struggling with their gardening, so I decided to help them. I grabbed a shovel and started digging alongside them. We planted flowers and pulled out weeds together. It was hard work, but we enjoyed being outside in the fresh air. We chatted and laughed as we worked. After a few hours, the garden looked beautiful and neat. My neighbor was very grateful for the help. They thanked me and said that my small act of kindness made a big difference to them. I felt happy knowing that I was able to lend a hand and make someone's day a little bit easier. I recently went to a food festival and it was amazing. There were so many different types of food to try. I got to taste cuisines from all over the world. There were spicy dishes, sweet desserts, and everything in between. The smells were incredible, and it was hard to decide where to start. I tried some delicious street tacos, creamy pasta, and even some exotic dishes like sushi. The festival was packed with people who all shared the same love for food. Everyone was smiling and enjoying themselves. It was a great opportunity to try new things and discover new flavors. I had a fantastic time at the food festival, and I can't wait to go again next year. I decided to try a new dessert recipe recently. I followed the instructions carefully and gathered all the necessary ingredients. The recipe seemed fairly simple, so I felt confident that it would turn out well. I started by preheating the oven and preparing the baking pan. Then, I mixed the dry ingredients together in a bowl before gradually adding in the wet ingredients. The batter had a smooth and creamy texture. Once everything was well combined, I poured the batter into the prepared pan and placed it in the oven. 
As the dessert baked, a delightful aroma filled the kitchen. I eagerly waited for it to cool down before indulging myself with a slice. The dessert exceeded my expectations. It was flavorful and had the perfect balance of sweetness. I thoroughly enjoyed treating myself to this delicious treat and it made me proud to try a new recipe and have it turn out so wonderfully. I decided to join an art class because I wanted to improve my painting skills. It's a really enjoyable and creative way to spend my free time. In the class, there are many different art materials to choose from, like paints, brushes, and canvases. The teacher is very knowledgeable and helpful, and she guides us through different techniques step by step. We learn how to mix colors, create different textures, and even how to paint landscapes and portraits. It's amazing to see the progress I've made in just a few weeks. The atmosphere in the class is very relaxed and friendly, and it's a great opportunity to meet other people who share the same passion for art. Overall, Going to the art class has been a wonderful experience for me, and I'm really enjoying every moment of it. I attended a lovely wedding ceremony recently. The location where the ceremony took place was absolutely breathtaking. It was such a special moment to witness the couple exchanging their vows. The atmosphere was filled with love and joy as everyone celebrated their union. The ceremony itself was very emotional and heartfelt, with heartfelt speeches from family and friends. This wedding was truly a beautiful celebration of love. I decided to go to a different coffee shop today because I wanted to try something new. When I walked in, I immediately noticed how comfortable and inviting it was. The place had a cozy atmosphere, with soft lighting and comfortable seating. I approached the counter and looked at the menu to see what they offered. There were a lot of different types of drinks to choose from, but I decided to try their specialty drink. I ordered it and eagerly waited for it to be made. When it finally arrived, I could tell it was made with care. The presentation was beautiful, with a sprinkle of cinnamon on top. I took a sip and instantly fell in love. The coffee was rich and flavorful, and it had just the right amount of sweetness to it. I sat down and enjoyed my drink while watching the world go by outside the window. It was a wonderful experience, and I will definitely be coming back to this coffee shop again. I recently went to a farmer's market and it was a great experience. I enjoyed exploring the wide variety of fresh fruits and vegetables that were available. It was nice to see so many different types of produce all in one place. I decided to support the local growers and bought some fruits and vegetables to take home. The farmers were friendly and helpful. I was impressed by the quality and freshness of the food. It felt good to know that I was buying directly from the people who grew the food. I appreciate the hard work that goes into producing fresh, local produce and I will definitely be returning to the farmer's market in the future.
I had a fun-filled day at a theme park. I went on exciting rides that made my heart beat fast and my stomach feel dizzy. The roller coasters were tall and fast. They went up and down, and took sharp turns. It was scary but thrilling at the same time. The shows were also entertaining. There were acrobats who did amazing flips and tricks in the air. I laughed a lot during the funny clown performance. The theme park was crowded with people of all ages, but it didn't bother me. I had a great time exploring different areas of the park and trying different snacks. I can't wait to go back again soon. I have recently started my own personal blog. It is a platform where I can share my thoughts and experiences with others. I find it to be a great creative outlet for me to express myself. Through my blog, I am able to connect with people who have similar interests and ideas. It's amazing how technology allows us to connect with like-minded individuals from all over the world. I enjoy the process of writing and publishing my blog posts, and it's exciting to see people engage with my content through comments and shares. Overall, blogging has been a rewarding experience for me and I look forward to continuing this journey of self-expression and connection through my blog. I decided to make homemade pasta from scratch. It took a while to prepare all the ingredients and knead the dough, but I followed the recipe step by step. After letting the dough rest, I rolled it out and cut it into thin, ribbon-like strips. I cooked the pasta in boiling water until it was al dente, and then served it with a delicious sauce. The homemade pasta had a wonderful texture and flavor that was far better than store-bought pasta. Although it was time-consuming, the end result was definitely worth the effort. I had a great time this afternoon at a nearby bookstore. I really enjoy the smell of new books and discovering interesting ones to read. I spent my time exploring the different sections and browsing through various genres. There were so many books to choose from, both new releases and classics. I enjoyed flipping through the pages and reading the summaries on the back covers. I came across a few hidden gems that caught my attention, and I can't wait to start reading them. The bookstore was quiet and cozy, perfect for getting lost in the world of books. I ended up buying a couple of books that I couldn't resist. I left the bookstore feeling satisfied and excited to start my new reading adventures. I wanted to try something new at the gym, so I decided to take a fitness class. The class was different from what I usually do, but I thought it would be a good challenge. When I arrived, the instructor welcomed me and showed me where to get the equipment I needed. The class started with some warm-up exercises to get our bodies ready. Then, we moved on to different exercises that targeted different muscle groups. I found some of the exercises difficult, but I pushed myself to keep going.
The instructor was really encouraging and gave us modifications if we needed them. By the end of the class, I was tired but felt accomplished. It was definitely a great workout and I'm glad I tried something new. I recently went to an art gallery and had a great time. The artwork was really beautiful and I was amazed by the talent and creativity of the artists. The paintings were so colorful and detailed, and it made me feel inspired. I spent a lot of time looking at each piece and trying to understand the meaning behind them. There were also sculptures and photographs on display, which were equally impressive. I enjoyed walking through the different rooms and seeing the variety of art styles. It was a peaceful and relaxing environment, and I felt a sense of calm as I explored the gallery. Overall, it was a wonderful experience and I hope to visit more art galleries in the future. I recently had a barbecue party at my house. It was held in my backyard. We had a great time grilling food and spending time with our friends. The weather was nice and sunny, perfect for an outdoor gathering. We prepared a variety of delicious food to grill, including burgers, hot dogs, and kebabs. Everyone brought their favorite side dishes and desserts to share. We set up tables and chairs in the backyard for everyone to sit and enjoy their food. The grill was fired up, and we started grilling the food. The smell of the grilled food was amazing. As the food cooked, we chatted and laughed with our friends. Once the food was ready, we put it on plates and everyone served themselves. We enjoyed the tasty food and had a great time talking and laughing together. It was a fun and relaxing evening. I noticed that my neighbor was struggling with their gardening, so I decided to lend a hand. They had a lot of weeds in their garden, making it difficult for the plants to grow properly. I grabbed some gardening tools and started pulling out the weeds. It was hard work, but I enjoyed being outside and helping someone in need. After a while, the garden started to look much better. My neighbor was very grateful for my help, and I felt proud of what we had accomplished together. It was a simple act of kindness, but it made a big difference in their garden. I decided to try a new dessert recipe that I found online. I gathered all the ingredients that were needed and carefully followed the instructions. The recipe required me to mix the dry ingredients together and then add the wet ingredients. Once everything was combined, I poured the batter into a baking dish and placed it in the oven. The dessert smelled amazing as it baked and I couldn't wait to try it. After the specified baking time, I took the dessert out of the oven and let it cool down. It looked perfect with a golden brown color on top. I took a bite and it was incredibly delicious. The dessert had the perfect balance of sweetness and flavor. I was so happy that my new recipe turned out to be a success. It was a treat to myself that I thoroughly enjoyed. 
I enjoy exploring different cuisines and trying out new recipes. One way I do this is by looking for recipes in cookbooks and online sources. There are so many delicious dishes from around the world that I want to try. I usually start by choosing a cuisine that I am interested in, like Italian or Thai. Then, I search for recipes that are easy to follow and use ingredients that I can find at my local grocery store. Once I have a recipe, I read it carefully and make a list of all the ingredients I need. Then, I go shopping and buy everything on my list. When I am ready to cook, I gather all the ingredients and follow the recipe step by step. It's always exciting to try new flavors and techniques in the kitchen. Sometimes the recipes turn out great and become new favorites, and other times I learn from my mistakes and try again. It's a fun and delicious way to discover new dishes and expand my cooking skills. I decided to start a small garden to grow vegetables, herbs, and flowers. I cleared a spot in my backyard and prepared the soil by digging and removing any rocks or weeds. Next, I planted a variety of vegetable seeds such as tomatoes, carrots, and lettuce. For herbs, I chose basil, parsley, and mint. Lastly, I planted colorful flowers like sunflowers and roses to add beauty to my garden. I watered the plants regularly and made sure to provide them with proper sunlight. I also placed a small fence around the garden to keep out any animals or pests. I am excited to watch my garden grow and look forward to enjoying the fresh produce and beautiful flowers. I went to a farmer's market yesterday. It was a bustling place with lots of people. There were stalls set up with all kinds of fruits and vegetables. The colors were vibrant and the produce looked really fresh. There were also vendors selling homemade bread, jams, and honey. I bought some apples, oranges, and tomatoes. The prices were reasonable and the vendors were friendly. I enjoyed walking around and taking in the sights and smells of the market. It was a great experience and I can't wait to go back again. As the evening approached, I decided to find a quiet place where I could enjoy the beauty of nature as the sun set. I walked along the beach, feeling the soft sand beneath my feet. The waves crashed gently against the shore creating a soothing sound. I found a spot on a wooden bench overlooking the ocean. As the sun slowly descended, the sky started to turn a beautiful shade of orange and pink. The colors reflected on the calm water, creating a mesmerizing view. I sat there, taking in the peaceful ambiance and appreciating the natural wonder before me. The sun gradually disappeared behind the horizon, leaving a sense of tranquility in the air. I couldn't help but feel grateful for the opportunity to witness such a breathtaking sight. I enjoy exploring the city by taking walks through different neighborhoods. It is interesting to discover local landmarks and attractions along the way. 
One neighborhood has a beautiful park with a big fountain in the center. Many people gather there to relax and enjoy the scenery. In another neighborhood, there is a famous museum filled with artwork from different time periods. It is fascinating to see the paintings and sculptures up close. I also like to visit the local market in a different neighborhood. There, I can find fresh fruits, vegetables, and various other products. It is a bustling place with vendors calling out their prices and shoppers searching for the best deals. I like how each neighborhood has its own unique character and charm. Exploring the city through walks allows me to experience the diversity and beauty it has to offer. I love going for a bike ride. It's a great way to enjoy the outdoors and explore different places. I usually ride my bike on scenic paths and through parks. The fresh air and beautiful scenery make the experience even more enjoyable. I like the feeling of the wind rushing through my hair as I pedal along. Sometimes I see other people riding their bikes too, and we exchange friendly smiles. It's a peaceful and relaxing activity that helps me stay fit and active. I always make sure to follow the rules of the road and wear a helmet for safety. Riding a bike is a fun and healthy way to spend my time outdoors. Playing board games is a great way to spend quality time with my loved ones. We gather around the table and choose a game to play. Some of our favorites include Monopoly, Scrabble, and Clue. Each game has its own rules and objectives, but the main goal is to have fun and challenge each other. I enjoy rolling the dice, moving my game piece, and making strategic decisions to try and win. It's exciting to see who will come out on top and be crowned the champion. Sometimes we play for hours, laughing and cheering as we make our moves. Board games bring us closer together and create lasting memories. I decided to volunteer at a local charity because I wanted to contribute to the community. I offered my time and skills to help out with various tasks at the organization. It felt good to know that I was making a difference and helping those in need. I assisted with organizing donations, sorting clothes, and helping with administrative tasks. It was a fulfilling experience to see the impact of my efforts. The other volunteers were friendly and welcoming, and we worked together as a team. I enjoyed meeting new people and hearing their stories. Volunteering at the local charity allowed me to give back to the community and make a positive impact. I love going for hikes because it allows me to explore nature. I enjoy walking through trails and taking in the beauty of the surroundings. The fresh air and the sounds of birds chirping make the experience so calming. I usually bring a backpack with some water and snacks to keep me energized during the hike. Sometimes, I come across different kinds of plants and animals that I've never seen before. It's always exciting to discover new things in nature. I also like to take pictures of the scenic views along the way. 
Hiking is a great way to exercise and appreciate the beauty of the outdoors. During my free time, I decided to visit a museum. I was interested in learning about history, art, and culture, so I thought it would be a great opportunity to expand my knowledge. As I entered the museum, there were various exhibits waiting to be explored. The first exhibit focused on ancient civilizations, displaying artifacts such as pottery, tools, and weapons. It was fascinating to see how people lived thousands of years ago. Moving on, I entered the art gallery which showcased magnificent paintings and sculptures. The colors and details in each artwork left me in awe. I took my time appreciating the skill and creativity of the artists. Lastly, I visited the cultural exhibit which highlighted different traditions and customs from around the world. It was interesting to learn about the diverse ways people celebrate and express themselves. Overall, my visit to the museum was educational and enjoyable. I left with a greater understanding and appreciation for history, art, and culture. Taking a day trip is a great way to explore nearby towns or attractions and have new experiences. I usually plan my trips in advance and decide where I want to go. I look for interesting places to visit, such as historical sites, parks, or museums. Sometimes, I also like to go to a nearby beach or hiking trail. On the day of the trip, I pack some snacks and water in a bag and make sure to wear comfortable shoes. I take public transportation or drive to my destination. Once I arrive, I spend the day exploring and learning about the place. I take lots of pictures to remember the experience. At the end of the day, I return home feeling refreshed and excited about the new things I discovered. I have always enjoyed playing sports and wanted to learn and improve in my favorite sport. So, I decided to join a sports club and take classes. At the sports club, there were many other people who also wanted to learn and play sports. The instructor was very knowledgeable and experienced. We started with some warm-up exercises to prepare our bodies for the sport. Then, we learned the basic rules and techniques of the sport. We practiced these skills through various drills and activities. The instructor gave us feedback and helped us correct our mistakes. It was challenging at first, but with practice, I started to improve. I also made some new friends while playing together. It was a great experience overall, and I gained confidence in playing my favorite sport. I enjoy starting my day by reflecting on my daily experiences and thoughts. It helps me organize my thoughts and understand myself better. I find that by jotting them down in a personal journal, I am able to express myself freely and honestly. It's a great way to capture my emotions and document my growth over time. Sometimes, I write about memorable events or special moments that happened throughout the day. 
Other times, I write about my goals, dreams, and aspirations. Writing in my journal allows me to release any stress or worries that I may have, and it brings a sense of calmness to my mind. It is a therapeutic practice that I consider an essential part of my daily routine. Setting goals is an important aspect of personal growth. To identify my personal aspirations, I reflect on my hopes and dreams for the future. Once I have a clear vision of what I want to achieve, I create a plan. This plan includes breaking down my goals into smaller, actionable steps. For example, if my aspiration is to improve my physical fitness, my plan might include going for a run three times a week and joining a gym. By setting goals and creating a plan, I am able to stay focused and motivated to accomplish my aspirations. I love going on road trips. It's so exciting to plan a trip, pack my things, and hit the open road. I always bring snacks and drinks for the journey, so I don't get hungry or thirsty. Along the way, I like to stop at interesting places and explore new areas. Sometimes, I find beautiful parks or scenic viewpoints where I can take pictures and enjoy the scenery. Other times, I stumble upon small towns with unique shops and restaurants. It's fun to try new foods and experience different cultures. I also make sure to have a good playlist of my favorite songs to keep me entertained during the drive. Going on a road trip is a great way to discover new places and have adventures along the way. I went to a zoo near my house to observe and learn about different types of animals. It was a very exciting experience for me. I saw animals like lions, tigers, elephants, giraffes, zebras, and many more. Each animal had a designated area, and they were kept in enclosures that resembled their natural habitats. I could see the lions roaring and the tigers playfully chasing each other. The elephants were enormous and gracefully moved around their space. The giraffes were tall and had long necks. There were also monkeys swinging from tree branches and making funny noises. I learned about the different characteristics, behaviors, and habitats of these animals. It was interesting to read the signs and descriptions near their enclosures to understand more about them. I also saw a show where trained dolphins performed various tricks. It was incredible to witness their intelligence and agility. Overall, visiting the zoo was a great way to observe and learn about various animal species in a fun and educational environment. I enjoy decorating my living space to make it welcoming and comfortable. I like to add personal touches to make it feel like home. I usually start by choosing a color scheme that I like. Then, I pick out furniture that matches the style and fits well in the room. I like to arrange the furniture in a way that allows for easy conversation and movement. I also like to add decorative items like artwork, plants, and candles to create a cozy atmosphere. Finally, 
I make sure everything is clean and organized to keep my living space looking neat and tidy. I recently decided to start a book club. I wanted to gather a group of people who enjoy reading and discussing literature. I reached out to some friends and colleagues to see if they were interested. I created a schedule and chose the first book for our club to read. We decided on a meeting place and time that worked for everyone. At our first meeting, we introduced ourselves and shared our thoughts on the book. We had a lively discussion and shared different perspectives. It was great to hear everyone's opinions and interpretations of the story. We also talked about what books we wanted to read in the future. Overall, it was a successful start to our book club and I can't wait for our next meeting. I joined a gym to stay healthy and participate in exercise classes. The classes are led by a fitness instructor who guides us through different exercises. The classes vary in intensity and focus on different areas of the body. We do a combination of cardio exercises, strength training, and stretching. The instructor demonstrates each exercise and helps us with proper form and technique. The classes are usually one hour long and include warm-up and cool-down sessions. It's a great way to stay active and meet new people who have similar fitness goals. I feel energized and accomplished after each class, and it's a fun way to stay in shape. I enjoy learning photography and I am always looking for opportunities to practice and improve my skills. One way I do this is by capturing different moments and subjects. I take my camera with me whenever I go out, so I can capture interesting things that catch my eye. For example, when I went for a walk in the park last week, I noticed a group of ducks swimming in the pond. I quickly adjusted the settings on my camera and took a picture of them. I also like to photograph landscapes and nature. When I went on a hike last month, I came across a beautiful waterfall and I couldn't resist taking a photo. Capturing these moments helps me to develop my photography skills and create a collection of memories that I can look back on. I decided to try a new recipe today and experiment in the kitchen. I wanted to cook a dish that I had never attempted before. I searched for a recipe online and found one that looked interesting. The ingredients seem simple enough, so I gathered them all together. I followed the recipe step by step, chopping the vegetables and measuring the spices. As I cooked, the aroma filled the kitchen and made me even more excited to taste the dish. Finally, it was time to try it. I served myself a portion and took a bite. The flavors were different from what I was used to, but surprisingly delicious. I felt proud of myself for trying something new and successfully making a tasty dish. Trying new recipes can be intimidating, but it's a fun way to explore different flavors and expand my cooking skills. I can't wait to try more new dishes in the future.
I love going for a swim on a hot day. It's so refreshing and makes me feel cool. I usually go to the pool, but sometimes I go to the lake or the ocean. When I go to the pool, I always make sure to bring my swimsuit and a towel. I like to dive into the water and do splashes. I enjoy swimming underwater and seeing how long I can hold my breath. Sometimes I play games with my friends in the pool, like Marco Polo or water volleyball. At the lake, I can swim in the clear water and feel the sand between my toes. It's nice to float on an inflatable and relax. When I go to the ocean, I love swimming in the waves and feeling the salty water on my skin. It's fun to jump over the waves and let them carry me towards the shore. Swimming is a great way to stay active and enjoy the outdoors. I recently had a game night at my place with some friends. I wanted to have a fun evening filled with laughter and friendly competition. To invite my friends, I sent out text messages and made phone calls. I asked them if they were available on a specific date and if they would like to join me for a game night at my house. I also mentioned that snacks and drinks would be provided. I received positive responses from my friends, and they were excited to come over. On the day of the game night, I prepared the living room by setting up a table with board games and card games. I also made sure there were enough chairs for everyone. When my friends arrived, I welcomed them in and offered them snacks and drinks. We started playing different games, and everyone was having a great time. There was a lot of laughter and friendly competition throughout the night. We played until late in the evening and ended the night with a lot of happy memories. I recently started taking a yoga class to improve my flexibility and enhance my overall well-being. In the class, we engage in calm and mindful movements that help to relax and strengthen our bodies. The instructor guides us through various poses and encourages us to focus on our breath. It is a gentle and peaceful practice that allows me to disconnect from the outside world and focus on my own physical and mental health. I have noticed that with each class, my flexibility has been gradually improving, and I feel more relaxed and centered afterwards. It is a great way to take care of myself and find balance in my everyday life. Going camping is a great way to enjoy nature and spend quality time outdoors. To set up a tent, I first lay out the tent and attach the poles to the corresponding corners. Then, I insert the poles into the fabric sleeves and secure them with stakes in the ground. Once the tent is set up, I can enjoy the beautiful surroundings and breathe in the fresh air. I love hearing the sounds of birds chirping and leaves rustling in the wind. It's so peaceful and relaxing. I can also explore the area by going on hikes or fishing in nearby lakes or rivers. Camping allows me to escape the hustle and bustle of everyday life and connect with nature.
I started a new hobby of collecting items that interest me. I decided to start a collection of stamps, coins, and postcards. I began by researching different types of stamps, coins, and postcards to learn more about them. I visited a few local stores and online marketplaces to find places where I could buy stamps, coins, and postcards. I also joined a few online forums and communities to connect with other collectors who could provide me with advice and recommendations. I purchased my first stamps, coins, and postcards, and organized them neatly in albums and folders. I enjoy spending time looking at my collection and I am excited to continue adding new items to it in the future. I went to a nearby beach to relax and enjoy the sun. The beach had soft, sandy shores and clear blue water. I found a spot under an umbrella and set up my beach towel. I applied sunscreen to protect my skin from the sun's rays. I then lay down on my towel and listened to the sound of the waves crashing against the shore. The sun was warm, and I felt a gentle breeze on my face. I could see families playing in the water and building sandcastles. Some people were playing beach volleyball, while others were simply lounging and reading books. I decided to take a swim in the refreshing water. The waves were calm, and I enjoyed floating on my back, looking up at the clear sky. After my swim, I dried off and decided to take a walk along the shoreline. I collected seashells and enjoyed the feeling of the sand between my toes. As the day came to an end, I packed up my things and headed home, feeling relaxed and refreshed from my day at the beach. I love trying new foods from different countries. It's exciting to explore a foreign cuisine and discover new flavors and cultures. Whenever I travel, I make it a point to taste the local dishes. One time, I visited a country in Asia and tried their famous street food. There were stalls selling various delicious snacks like dumplings, noodles, and grilled meats. I also got to sample exotic fruits that I had never seen before. The flavors were amazing and completely different from what I was used to. Another time, I went to a Latin American country and tried their traditional dishes. I had tacos, empanadas, and a delicious spicy soup called pozole. The flavors were bold and the spices made the dishes really flavorful. It was such a wonderful experience to not only taste the food, but also learn about the customs and traditions behind each dish. Trying new foods from different countries has not only expanded my palate, but also opened my eyes to the rich diversity of our world. I went to a local market yesterday. When I arrived, I saw many colorful stalls filled with different types of fresh fruits and vegetables. There were also stalls selling handmade crafts, like pottery, clothing, and jewelry. I walked around and looked at all the items on display. The vendors were friendly and eager to answer any questions I had. I saw some unique items that I had never seen before, 
like hand-carved wooden figurines and hand-woven baskets. I spent some time browsing through the stalls, admiring the variety of goods available. It was a busy market, with many people shopping and chatting with the vendors. Overall, it was a pleasant experience and I enjoyed exploring the different stalls and seeing all the fresh produce and unique items for sale. I decided to host a themed party for my friends and family. I started by choosing a theme that I thought everyone would enjoy. After deciding on a theme, I began planning and organizing the party. I created a guest list and sent out invitations to everyone. I also started thinking about decorations and decided to make some DIY decorations to fit the theme. Next, I planned the menu and made a shopping list of all the ingredients I would need. On the day of the party, I decorated the venue with the DIY decorations and set up a photo booth for everyone to take pictures. I also prepared the food and drinks, making sure to have options for everyone's dietary preferences. As guests started arriving, I greeted them and showed them where to put their coats and bags. Throughout the party, I made sure everyone was having a good time and helped to facilitate conversations and games. Overall, hosting a themed party was a fun and rewarding experience for me and all of my guests. Learning a new language can be an exciting and challenging experience. One option is to enroll in language classes where you can learn with a group of students. These classes usually have a teacher who guides you through lessons and exercises. Another way to learn is by using online resources. There are websites and apps available that offer language courses and interactive exercises. These resources allow you to learn at your own pace and practice your skills whenever you have free time. Both options have their advantages, so it's important to choose the method that works best for you. Regardless of the approach you choose, learning a new language takes time and dedication. It's important to practice regularly and immerse yourself in the language as much as possible. Listening to native speakers and practicing speaking with others are key to becoming fluent. With patience and persistence, anyone can learn a new language and open up a world of opportunities. Going for a scenic drive is a fun and exciting way to explore new places and appreciate beautiful landscapes. On a road trip, I can enjoy breathtaking views of mountains, valleys, forests, and lakes. It's so peaceful to drive along winding roads that offer amazing panoramic views. I can roll down the windows and feel the cool breeze as I admire the stunning scenery. Sometimes, I even stop at lookout points to take pictures and capture the beauty of nature. The colors of the trees and flowers are so vibrant, and I can see different shades of green and blue everywhere. It's a great opportunity to disconnect from the busy city life and connect with nature. I love going for scenic drives because it allows me to experience the tranquility and serenity of the countryside while enjoying the mesmerizing views.
I decided to try out a DIY project at home. I wanted to use my creativity and skills to complete a project without hiring a professional. I researched different DIY ideas online and found one that seemed fun and achievable. I gathered all the necessary materials and tools before starting. I followed the step-by-step -step instructions carefully, making sure to measure and cut everything accurately. It took some time and effort, but I enjoyed the process. Finally, after hours of work, I completed the DIY project. I felt a sense of accomplishment and satisfaction seeing the finished product. Trying out a DIY project was a great way to unleash my creativity and learn new skills. During my visit to a local historical site, I had the opportunity to explore and learn about the rich history of the area. I was fascinated by the ancient architecture and the stories behind each structure. As I walked around, I noticed the intricate details and the craftsmanship that went into creating these landmarks. I also had the chance to read plaques and signs that provided information about the historical significance of each site. It was interesting to imagine what life was like during that time period and how these landmarks played a role in shaping the community. I felt a sense of awe and appreciation for the past as I immersed myself in the historical atmosphere. Overall, visiting the local historical site was an educational and eye-opening experience that allowed me to connect with the history of the area. I recently decided to take a pottery class to learn how to make unique ceramic pieces. The class teaches various pottery making techniques, such as coiling, pinching, and slab building. During the class, I learned how to prepare clay by wedging it and how to use different tools like a potter's wheel and kiln. The instructor taught us how to shape and mold the clay to create different forms like bowls, cups, and vases. We also learned how to add details and textures to our pieces using techniques like carving and glazing. I really enjoyed the hands-on experience and the opportunity to unleash my creativity through pottery making. It was satisfying to see my finished pieces starting to take shape and I'm excited to continue learning and improving my pottery skills in the future. Having a photo shoot is a fun and exciting way to capture meaningful moments and create lasting memories through photography. I recently had the opportunity to have a photo shoot with a professional photographer. We met at a beautiful park with colorful flowers and tall trees. The photographer had a big camera with different lenses and equipment. She asked me to stand in different poses and smile for the camera. She also suggested different backgrounds and angles for the pictures. She took many shots, making sure to capture the best moments. It was interesting to see how she adjusted the settings on her camera to make the pictures look perfect. After the photo shoot, she showed me the pictures on her laptop. They turned out amazing. The colors were vibrant, and my smile looked genuine. She offered to edit some of the photos to make them even better.
It was a great experience that allowed me to express myself and have beautiful pictures to cherish forever. Last weekend, I decided to go stargazing to observe and learn about constellations. I wanted to find a spot away from the city lights for a better view of the night sky. I researched online to locate a suitable location. After finding a nearby area with low light pollution, I packed some blankets, a flashlight, and a star map. I drove to the location after sunset and found a secluded spot, away from any source of artificial light. I spread out the blankets on the ground and lay down, looking up at the clear, dark sky. Using the star map, I began identifying different constellations. It was fascinating to see the patterns and shapes formed by the stars. I spotted the Big Dipper and Orion's Belt, which were easy to recognize. As I continued exploring, I discovered more constellations like Cassiopeia and Ursa Major. It was a peaceful and relaxing experience, just me and the stars. I stayed for a couple of hours, enjoying the tranquility and marveling at the vastness of the universe. It was a wonderful opportunity to connect with nature and learn about the wonders of the night sky. I recently decided to try out meditation as a way to relax and improve my mental well-being. I found some mindfulness exercises online and started practicing them in the comfort of my own home. Each day, I set aside a few minutes to sit quietly and focus on my breath. I would close my eyes and take slow, deep breaths, paying attention to the rise and fall of my chest. As thoughts would enter my mind, I would acknowledge them without judgment and let them go, bringing my focus back to my breath. I also tried a body scan exercise, where I would mentally scan my body from head to toe, noticing any sensations or areas of tension. This helped me become more aware of my body and any areas of discomfort. Overall, Incorporating meditation into my daily routine has helped me feel more centered, calm, and present in the moment. I visited a beautiful botanical garden today. It was a peaceful and tranquil place with a wide variety of plants and flowers. As I walked through the garden, I was amazed by the vast collection of different species. There were tall trees, colorful flowers, and unique plants from all around the world. I enjoyed the fragrance of the flowers and the sound of birds chirping. The garden had well-maintained paths, benches, and fountains where visitors could relax. I spent hours exploring and taking pictures of the stunning scenery. It was a perfect place to escape the busy city and appreciate the beauty of nature. I recently decided to host a themed dinner party. I wanted to plan a dinner gathering with a specific theme and prepare cuisine that was related to this theme. I started by selecting a theme that my guests would enjoy and that I could easily plan and prepare for. Once I had chosen the theme, I began researching different recipes and dishes that would fit with this theme. 
I made a list of all the ingredients I would need and went to the grocery store to purchase them. Back at home, I spent the whole day cooking and preparing the food for the dinner party. I set the table with themed decorations and made sure everything looked presentable. When my guests arrived, they were excited to see the theme of the party and enjoyed the various dishes that I had prepared. We all had a great time eating, talking, and enjoying each other's company. Hosting a themed dinner party was a fun and rewarding experience that I would definitely do again in the future. I went to the beach to have a barbecue picnic and enjoy a day of fun activities. I brought my grill, charcoal, and a bag of charcoal briquettes. I also packed food for the barbecue, like burgers, hot dogs, and chicken. I set up the grill on the sand and started to heat up the charcoal. Once the coals were hot, I placed the food on the grill and cooked it until it was done. The smell of the sizzling meat wafted through the air and made me hungry. I brought some buns and condiments for the burgers and hot dogs. After the food was cooked, I arranged it on a large serving tray and placed it on the picnic blanket. My friends and I gathered around the food, eagerly grabbing our favorite items. We sat in the shade of an umbrella and enjoyed the delicious barbecue meal. The salty sea breeze and the sound of crashing waves added to the relaxing ambiance. After eating, we played beach volleyball and flew kites. We also took a refreshing dip in the ocean to cool off. It was a perfect day at the beach, filled with good food, laughter, and memorable moments. I have recently decided to try out a new fitness routine. I wanted to explore different exercise programs to find one that suits my personal preferences and goals. I started by researching various fitness classes and activities in my area. I discovered that there are many options available, including yoga, pilates, zumba, and kickboxing. I decided to try out a few different classes to see which one I enjoy the most. So far, I have attended a yoga class and a Zumba class. Both were challenging but fun. In the yoga class, we focused on stretching and flexibility, while the Zumba class was more fast-paced and focused on cardio. I enjoyed both experiences and appreciated the variety in the workouts. I am excited to continue exploring different exercise programs to find the one that is the perfect fit for me. I love going on treasure hunts. It's so much fun to search for hidden treasures using clues and maps. I gather my friends and we start our adventure. We follow the clues and explore different areas. Sometimes we have to solve puzzles to find the next clue. It can be challenging, but we work together as a team. Along the way, we discover interesting places and meet new people. Finally, after a lot of searching, we find the hidden treasure. It's always exciting to see what we've found. We celebrate our success and take pictures to remember the adventure. 
Treasure hunts are a great way to have fun and explore new places.